Let's jump into it. Here are some tips to make Premiere Pro run faster. First, let's talk about cache files. When you start a new project, go to System Preferences and head to the Media Cache section. Make sure your media cache files are set to save on the hard drive you're using for video editing. Also, cache files are just preview renders, so it's fine to delete them regularly. Next, let's optimize your RAM usage. Go to the Memory tab in Preferences and allocate almost all available RAM to Premiere Pro. This will make it run much faster. Also, close any other programs running on your computer to prevent conflicts. Even simple apps like Twitter can use a lot of RAM. Now, adjust your playback settings. Set your playback resolution to the lowest quality instead of full. This will reduce lag when you play back your footage, especially with high resolution files like 4K or 6K. If you're working on a big project with many effects, transitions and graphics, you can mute these by clicking the Global FX Mute tool. If you don't see it, click the plus icon to find it and drag it into the toolbar. This will speed up performance by hiding all added effects. Creating proxies can also improve performance. Proxies are lower resolution versions of your original footage. Go to the Media tab, select the footage you want to create proxies for and choose Create Proxies. Select the resolution and codec for your proxies. Once created, you can switch between high-res footage and proxies by clicking the original and proxy buttons in the program monitor. A fast hard drive is crucial for smooth editing. Use an external hard drive with a fast transfer rate or invest in a solid state drive SSD for your project files. Avoid using older spinning disk drives for video editing as they are much slower. Finally, adjust your sequence settings to match the footage you're working with. This helps prevent lag and improves performance. Make sure the time base matches the frame rate of your clips. That's it. Let me know if these tips help you speed up your editing in Premiere Pro.